one. And of course, I've got my water and my paintbrush and my paper back here. So what I'm gonna start to do is look at one of my flowers really, really, really close up. Okay, when you do this at home, mommy or daddy might say, what is that? And you can say, I'm making it really close up and some artists call that abstract. So I'm gonna look at all of my leaves that I see and I'm not gonna be afraid because it's gonna look silly because I'm gonna make it big and I'm just gonna make the curved lines that I see and the straight lines that I see and I'm just gonna go for it. All right. I'm gonna take this one off and I'm just gonna start drawing. I'm gonna use a dark oil pastel And I'm just gonna start drawing what I see up close. And don't worry, it's supposed to go off the page. It's gonna be big. All right, let's see what happens. I'm right here. Oh my gosh, and I see these really cool things popping out at me. And they're overlapping. See a leaf going this way, right off my page. And it's curling, that's a fun shape. And then I see a big one going that way. I'm just being risky. I'm just drawing the curved and the straight lines that I see. I'm not worried about the colors. You can make any colors up that you want. And then the cool thing with oil pastels is you can mix different colors together. So even though this looks to me like a really light green or yellow, I can make it any color I want. Um, I'm gonna use this color yellow a little bit and I'm gonna go just like this it mixes with the blue a little bit but that's okay because we all know that yellow and blue make green that might be fun in here too starts to run down, the oil pastels have paper that you can just peel off, just like a crayon. Okay, I think I'm liking this so far. Now, this could take me a little bit of time or it could take me a lot of time. So I'm just gonna kind of speed it up for you guys. I'm gonna use one more color. I like this orange. So I'm just gonna blend in. Oh, that looks good. Some orange in there. And next, when I'm done this, I'm gonna get out my watercolor paints. And the oil in this pastel will resist the watercolor paint. So you'll be able to see beautiful watercolor and the colors of the oil pastel. Okay, and I'm going to 
going to put this down for a second. There's one more color. Lots of different kinds of lines. Now I'm ready. I picked this paintbrush for my colors and I'm going to, I like to start with my lightest color first so they don't get all muddy looking, but if you like your picture muddy, that's okay too. I'm gonna start with yellow. So water makes this watercolor work. It's like putting gas in your car. And I'm just twirling it around and I'm gonna start painting. So I have lots of yellow. Woo, I like this. You stretch it out like that. I need more water. Twirl it around. And I'll put some over here. I'm just feeling it. I like these colors right now. know this is a flower because I showed you my inspiration but if you just walked into my house right now and you didn't see these flowers you'd be like what is that Miss Marilyn I don't like to smash my brush because it ruins my bristles I like to just flow with it happy little dancing brush add some orange. Same thing. Stirring it around. Oh yeah. You liking it? forgot you were there. I'm having so much fun. More orange. Try to guess the next color I'm going to use after orange while I'm doing this. Off the page. Red. I just picked red in my brain. Hey, I'm using a lot of warm colors. Yellow is warm, orange is warm, and red is warm. One more thing. I'm gonna make this part pop out a little bit with some black. Kinda looks purple. It's okay. I like it even better. There we go. Abstract, up close flower, inspired by George O'Keefe. 